All right, let's talk haplogroups because a lot of people are confused. Haplogroup is not your entire ancestry. It only traces one line. If you are a female, your empty DNA haplogroup is based on your mother's line. So your mother's, 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 mother's all the way back. If you are a man, it traces your paternal line. So your father's, father's, father all the way, look, all the way back. While haplogroups are fantastic for looking at a continuous line, they ignore all those other people that contribute to your DNA. After 10 generations back, you have like a thousand people contributing to your DNA. If you go back 20 generations, it's like a million people contributing to your DNA. So when you're looking only at the maternal line or only at the paternal line, you're ignoring all those other people that are contributing to your genome. So think about it like this. Let's pretend you have gray eyes and the only other person that you know in your family with gray eyes is your father's mother, so your paternal grandmother. So it's pretty evident to most people around you that that DNA came from your paternal grandmother, right? She has gray eyes, you have gray eyes. But if we were talking about haplogroups and we were only at looking at your maternal line, there would be no way to explain how you got those gray eyes because she wouldn't be on your maternal line. She's your father's mother. Haplogroups don't consider the recombination that happens across generations from all the different ancestors that are contributing to your genome. They are just another data point, one thread in the web, a good one, but still just one thread. And so my original comment still stands because the kits that I was running are classified as Sub-Saharan African with ASW30 as their number one single population match. They were matching haplogroups U, which is originating in West Asia, haplogroup H, which is mostly European, and haplogroup A, which is mostly considered associated with Native American, you can see how none of these haplogroups are African. Yet they're all consistently showing up in people that are labeled as African American. Hope that helped clear up your confusion.